How's it going guys? I am Matthias and it is Sunday, so that means I am reading your comments. And today I am reading comments from the video where I asked you for your most inspiring stories. But before we get into those amazing and inspiring stories, a question of the day for a future episode is, tell me the story behind your most embarrassing first date or the most embarrassing thing that happened to you on your first date. And if you haven't been on a first date, maybe these are some tips that you can avoid. Let's begin. One time in a video, I saw someone's wife interrupt the sketch the person was making and it inspired me to comment on this. I can't remember that video. Is that like all of my videos? Is it? You and Markiplier inspire me, aw. Because I see how hard you guys work to make everybody smile and laugh, and not only that, you two change so many lives, and that really inspires me because I really want to do the same thing someday. Oh, thank you. That means a lot. I was inspired by the Metal Gear Solid v Kojima trailer. The feels. I was inspired when I saw a video about how to melt aluminum. So I built a thing and almost caught fire on myself. <laughs> Almost caught myself on fire. Why? Why am I dyslexic? One time I was walking to school and saw a homeless man begging for money. After I said I didn't have any change, I saw someone give him a pizza and hundred dollars. I'd never seen that before and thought it was so generous. Something I witnessed that inspired me was my dog. He was always happy and very social, while me at the time, I was sad and didn't want people in my life. Luckily, my dog helped me realize that life is better when you're happy and follow your dreams. You have a smart dog. This may be old now, but have you ever heard of the Tank Man? He stood in front of a column of tanks on June 5th, 1989, the morning after the Chinese military had suppressed the Tiananmen Square. Protests of 1989 by force became known as the Tank Man. He inspired me to fight for what is right. When a buddy of mine had only $20, which was for the whole month, he went up to a mother who couldn't pay for everything and ended up paying the difference and giving the 20 on top. So I was in LA and I drove by a bridge and I saw a bunch of dogs that were bleeding and dying. My family and I saved them. This inspired me to help animals in need. Now I volunteer at a pet adoption center, foster abused dogs and adopt rescue dogs. I have like five at the moment. That is a lot of dogs, good for you. I was being beaten up by a 14 year old dude and it just so happened that my friend was nearby and heard me screaming. I saw him running towards me and chased the dude away. That inspired me to stick up for everyone, even if it's not my friend. I was having a really bad day, so once naturally I went to Starbucks. As I pulled through the, up through the drive through window, the cashier told me that the person in front of me paid for my drink and said, bless you and have a nice day. My day only got better after that. Something that inspired me was when I saw some of my classmates draw really weird concept art, so now I've been practicing for three years and now I'm an artist. Almost. One time I saw someone running in the park, so I decided to run a marathon. It's harder than it looks. I watched a video where a colorblind guy was given glasses so he could see color. That inspired me to want to try and invent something to help people with disabilities or medical conditions. To clarify, I'm studying to be an engineer. During my trip in Ottawa, there were a ton of homeless people on the streets, and I was told to avoid them. But I remember one of them held a sign that read, Smile, it looks good on you. Something that I witnessed that inspired me was in a sport. I play soccer. When a soccer player knocks a player down and they are hurt, the player that knocked them down helps them back up or asks if they are okay. A lot of teams are told not to make sure the others are okay and I think it shows a lot about a person. Geez, when someone falls, make sure they're okay. They're a human, regardless if they're on the separate team, am I right? I saw someone give a homeless man a ton of money, but he didn't take it because he said it was too much and after that, he gave a fellow homeless guy money from his cup. Something I witnessed that inspired me was one day at school, there was a kid who didn't have a backpack, so he was just carrying all of his homework home with him and tripped and fell. I was walking with my friend and she said to me that we should go help him pick up his things. This was the one day I realized the world wasn't such a bad place. I was truly inspired when I was working with mentally handicapped individuals and we'd gone out to eat Chinese and an older couple bought all of our dinners because they cared about what we were doing for these people. It was inspiring to find people who took the time to care. When a man helped a dog that was about to fall in the river, I realized that all, all people are evil and don't care. Something that inspired me and made me have faith in humanity is a YouTube video of a man with very little money get in a taxi and basically go to another state. When the ride is over, the taxi driver says, hey buddy, it's on the house. My sister inspired me to draw and she still does. I also started watching speed paints and got a DeviantArt. Even though I don't get too much support, I'm still happy with my talent. In 2008, my eight-year-old cousin remembered the part of Obama's inauguration speech and the part where he was like, we will pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off and keep moving forward or something like that. 
I was like, wow, he's gonna be someone when he grows up. Now he's in high school and he's really smart. Oh, they grew up so fast. I was in the bathroom at my high school and I had a sinus infection. My nose was starting to run once and I washed my hands so I grabbed a paper towel and it began to blow my nose. Then this girl said, here, use these. They feel a lot better than rough paper towels. She handed me a package of Kleenexes, the pretty ones. We then had a nice conversation, which is a miracle because of my social anxiety, and as she left, she said she hopes I feel better. I just kind of stood there, really touched by something so simple. Every other time, someone just keeps going, but she didn't. After that, I always try to carry some and give them to anyone who needs them. I don't know why, that one made me tear up for some reason. <laughs> it's just such a simple thing that can like completely change a person's perspective. I'm going through a tough time with money and my health right now, so when I spent some time with my best friend, she recently helped me out with some food and my energy bill. She keeps me going. I went to a pride parade and a couple pride events with a friend last week. There was a really good feeling there and no one judging each other. And it was just really nice. It was so cool and inspiring. Is it weird that an anime inspired me to cook and bake? Anime makes good looking food, yo. <laughs> when I went to the top of the Empire State Building and I saw all these majestic towers, now I want to be an architect. P.S. The ASB was built in one year and 45 days. I saw some bullying in action and I just wanted to help the person out. Then they started kicking me and after all that junk happened, the person getting bullied gave me a hug. That's how I met one of my very good friends. People who go out of their way just to make somebody smile. It's great to see that there are people out there whose hearts are big enough to care for many others. I love being able to see people smile and I also love people who aren't afraid to spread smiles. You and Mark are like my favorite YouTubers, much love. Something I witnessed that inspired me was when my dad and I went to a convenience store, bought a homeless man two days worth of food, but also when we were standing at the checkout, a man complimented my dad on what he was doing and handed him a $20 bill instead of keeping it or using it to pay for the food. My dad gave it to the homeless man to keep as pocket change. The last thing I witnessed that inspired me is I met a World War II veteran in school. It was a, just a small meetup. When a kid asked him how it was to be on the battlefield, he said something along the lines of, it's a terrible feeling to walk among the dead, but you have to keep in mind that you are fighting for millions of lives. I don't know why this inspired me, but it gives me the vibe to enforce a more peaceful attitude. I was a young mother and I didn't have a lot of money. I was at the grocery store and I was trying to buy diapers, formula, and food for me and my son, but didn't discover until I got the cash register that I didn't have enough. I started to tell the cashier to put away the food and just to get the diapers and formula until some sweet lady behind me told her to just add it to hers. This unknown woman has inspired me to always help others whenever I can, even though I don't have much for myself. I once saw an old lady on a wheelchair trying to get up a hill on an intersection. About three minutes later, a man on a motorcycle got off his vehicle and pushed her all the way up. So touching. Something I witnessed and inspired me was my cousin. She's a professional ballet dancer. She would put together performances for kids at hospitals, for kids at orphanages. She inspired me to help others and entertain everyone around me, to share laughs and smiles with everyone no matter where they are. Something I witnessed that inspired me every day is my band director at school. He's an incredibly talented man and he's just very kind. He encourages every student to do their best and try. He always pushes you to be the best that you can and to follow your dreams. When I was in a working experience more than four years ago, I was in a place similar to Best Buy out here in Spain and I was assigned to do TV, DVD, Blu-ray player section. Every time an older man or older lady came in to buy a new TV, I realized that every single seller tried to make them buy the latest and awesome pretty fabulous brand new TV, which I thought was a swindle. So every time an old man slash lady came in, I tried to be their seller so that they can buy what they really need for a reasonable price. It made me proud of myself. Good for you, I actually worked at Best Buy and they would definitely try to do that. They would try to make you sell as much as you possibly could no matter the customer, even if it was just like some poor old lady and I was like, no, I think this is fine for you, even though they're like, but the other person told me to get this one. I'm like, this one will be fine. I witnessed a breakup in a public library and the teenage girl who was dumped was crying in an empty aisle. A little boy who looked just to be four or five sat down next to her and started sharing his book about astronomy. They were still there when we were leaving, but the girl was smiling and the boy was explaining facts about space he read as his parents watched from a distance. <laughs> that was awesome. The last thing I witnessed that made me feel good about humanity was when I went to a concert and the entire field did the wave. This is about 50,000 people all working together to do the wave. I don't know, that just makes me feel so good to be a human. Not that long ago I was in school and just as people were starting to leave for class, I started to feel really dizzy and my head was hurting. I stopped up because I felt like I was gonna faint and the guy I don't even know came up to me, asked me if I was okay and offered to stay with me until someone could come and pick me up so that I was not alone. So nice. 
My friend and I were outside at lunch and there was a little piece of trash and she said, I'll pick it up. And then she threw it away and I was like, we need more people like you in this world. My little cousin once asked me where wishes go before they're granted. I told her that they go to a library of wishes near a river where all the time is kept. She asked me where it was and I told her that they were both in an imaginary forest. This inspired me to create an entire backstory about this forest. So now I'm writing a book called The Girl Who Would Be Queen and I'm planning on publishing it this next summer. What has probably inspired me the most in my life is my father. He works as a captain for transport ships and although his job is harsh, he's able to provide for me and my mother more than enough. That by itself is very inspirational if I say so myself, but what truly impacted me the most was the way he cared about everyone. He would make sure to help my older cousins to find a job with the company he works for when they were finding it difficult to after finishing college. He would help my aunt and cousins at times of need doing all the work at home and making sure to be there when the girls, again two other cousins, were in need of someone to tell them everything that was going to be fine. He always goes out of his way to help others more than he cares to admit. What he tells me every time is when you can help someone, don't look for an angle. Just do it and feel proud that you did. I think on that note, I'm gonna end this episode. It was difficult getting through all of these without like tearing up and like I actually had to take a couple breaks. These were so inspiring. Thank you so much for sharing all these stories. I think it's really important that that we do just, just what that last commenter said is just go out of your way to help people in need, not looking for anything in return. And I think that's just so crucial in this day and age when so many people are, are all across the world are so selfish is to just think about someone else. Think about someone else and how they're feeling and putting yourself in their shoes. And I think you could really change someone's life. Make sure you answer the question of the day down below. And we'll see you next time. High five.